Hi everyone, this is Noriko Duet. Welcome to my online classroom. Today, we are going to talk about the artwork of Virginia Duffy. She is one of my students and she is working on a dog portrait project. So today we are going to do a quick step-by-step. -step. Um, she didn't have any specific questions. She just wanted me to show where to go next. So we're gonna be working on the fur and how to add light and shadow and all the good stuff. So let's get going. So this is Virginia's work. Thank you, Virginia, for sharing the work with us today. And um, her question was really like where to go from here. Uh, last time we had a class together, Virginia worked on this leg section right here. She's kind of working from the back to the front and saving the, the head area for the last. What we're going to do today is to mostly define this triangle section because that's where the bright highlight is. So let me, let's take a look in the reference photo. You can kind of see right here. It's really nice and bright. So we're going to go ahead and define that. Maybe outline the shadow area so that we can start prepping for the next section to work on and then um, see what, what, what happens. Okay, so first thing first, what we need to do is to erase this line right here. So any uh, kind of eraser you have is great. Just go ahead and erase this graphite line. And um, if you have any graphite smudges around here, make sure you're erasing that as well. After that, we're going to outline the outer edge here. I think I'm going to use 20% cool gray. Now, this section here, it's really, really bright. Um, it's basically white. So we are not going to add a lot of colors right here. But as we outline, what we are doing is we are defining the outer edge of the fur. So let's go ahead and do 20% cool gray. Just going in a zigzag. And as you're going in a zigzag, there's a slight dip right here. So we're going to go ahead and make the slight indentation. And then come down on it, keep going. On the outer edge of this leg, we're going to define it just a little bit more by adding this cool gray right here. So you notice that I changed the angle a little bit. I'm pointing the zigzag downwards right here, more like a diagonal direction this way. And then right here, I'm going in this kind of direction, pointing almost straight down here. Okay, and after that, let's take care of the leg. The leg ends right about here. So it naturally makes that letter V shape. We're gonna go ahead and darken this a little bit here. And then Here's like a really bright highlight in this section. So we're going to start defining this. I think it goes here to about here. So this is a continuation of this line that we made last time. Go ahead and create I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out some of the other just subtle shadows within that bright highlighted area so this is the front leg and then his like the leg muscle is like right about here Okay, so this area is going to be slightly raised and then it dips slightly, so that's why I'm adding a shadow here. Again, here and here, that's pretty pure, bright, pure white highlight here. Let's see if you can go ahead and just add a little bit more. Through there. And then right about here, that's where the dark shadow starts. I think I'm going to 
move this square shaped tag over and in order to do that we might want to use 50% cool gray make it slightly more towards the chest let it hang down just a little lower it's gonna be like right here to there Here's the column. And while we are at it, we're gonna go ahead and define the dark shadow. The top section seems like it's a little bit cut off by the shadow. And then the dark shadow cast from the tag right about here. And then the shadow line stretches down. And then here there's a little bit of a highlight and then we're gonna go ahead and add more shadow here a little bit of zigzag here If it makes it easier, just go ahead and add a really light touch of underpainting here with using 50% cold gray. Okay, now let's see. We're gonna switch to light peach. The front side right here, there's a more like a peach beige-ish color going on. So we're going to go ahead and add some light peach here. Followed by beige. And the light peach and beige is gonna look really bright. So we're gonna tone it down using putty beige. So just so that um, you all know, she has 72 color sets. So all the color recommendation I'm making is based on her 72 color set. add maybe a little bit of warm gray so we're gonna go ahead and start adding 20% warm gray Backside, let's go ahead and start adding just a little bit more for texture. When you're working with the fur, make sure your pencils, all your pencils are super sharp. And always move your pencil in a either zigzag or just the lines like this. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of violet and palma violet because that's the colors that we use around here. So, let's start with violet. And I know it's gonna look really crazy when you first add this color. So that's why we, we started with some gray color. 
and we're gonna tone it down again using gray color. So start with violet and then see if you can sort of fade into this lighter color section. Maybe add just a little bit of that shadow using this violet. There's a definite shadow right there where his leg and chest separates. Okay. Um, let's use a little bit of lilac to let the color fade out just a little bit. And then we're going to switch to 50% warm gray. So now the dog's fur color is gray, but we're going to have to make sure that we are not um, making this area too dark. So, let's see. And this is dark color that goes like right up to about here. And then there's another highlight right here. So, go ahead and connect this line to there. Like so. And I remember we used some bluish color here, so we might want to add just a little bit of blue. But before that, let me just add a little bit more warm gray around here to make the tag show up just a bit more. Gently fade it out. Let's take indigo blue and add just a little bit of indigo blue. Now these are these colors are added to make the fur look a little more interesting, but not necessary to turn the um, the dog into a rainbow dog. So add just a little bit here and there, just enough to show. And after that, you tone you, you have to add some kind of gray color to tone it down. So in this case, I'm going back with. 50% warm gray. And let's add 70% cool gray a little bit here too. Cool gray has a little bit more blue color, so if you feel warm gray is not blending too well um, with your blue or the purple colors that you've been adding, uh, cool gray is a good color to sort of create the bridge between the warm gray to the blue and purples. So uh, whenever you're adding the dark colors, make sure that you're spacing it out so that you can create the furry, fibery texture. And at this point, I want to bring in a little bit of white and add back just a little bit of white 
so that we can add just a little more highlight. So this area, I purposely went a little bit darker than the reference photo. And this color allows you to blend the color a little bit. So that serves to both purposes. Okay, let's see. And let's um, define the fur texture in this bright section. Take 20% French gray and then see if you can go ahead and create the scruffy fur patterns. Again, try not to add too much, just enough here and there, just a little squiggly zigzag line to show the fur texture. And finally, we're going to add just a little bit of cloud blue over this section because I, I feel light peach and beige may have made the area just a little too warm. So we're going to adjust that. Okay, so let's clean off some of that pencil bits. So we are finished through here, this section. And um, after that, Virginia, I think our next step is to go ahead and define the back end. And uh, we'll just kind of keep moving from there. Thank you, Virginia, for sharing your art today. Here's a list of colors that I use for today's tutorial. Okay, here it is. Thank you so much for joining my online art class today. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in being part of this online class and would like to submit your artwork, please follow the link below in the description box and I will be happy to comment and work with your art. I hope you enjoyed this show. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.